Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is the first of possibly quite a few sessions which will be focusing on changing your life. So I think the title will be Change Your Life with Hypnosis and I'll do a brief introduction about me and about what these sessions will be about and excuse me if I cough a little bit because I just had a little bit of a tickly throat just as I started uh, recording this this is my third attempt so um, I'm a little bit conscious of that so I've been doing these videos, doing hypnosis videos for about six or seven years um, and this, uh, I've moved into, I've done lots of different things, uh, lots of different kinds of videos, um, including insomnia, pain relief, relaxation, smoking, uh, kind of like self-help as well, motivational kinds of uh, videos. I was also doing a daily hypnosis session videos, I've got 100 and, I think 168 of those available. And it got to the stage where I was making maybe three or four, five videos a day, which is a bit too many videos, really. Um, I think from my perspective and also from your perspective, because how do you keep track of that much uh, material, really? So what I was thinking is how can I condense everything into just one session? Um, Maybe it'd be one session a day, maybe it'd be one session a week. I really don't know at this stage. Um, a lot of it will be to do with time and what time I have available. And also, you know, it can get, not noisy, but there will be sounds in the background at times, you know. I mean, there's cars parking just outside my window. There's other people living in the block, so people might close doors. There's a school across the road, so you might hear the kids screaming and whistles going off. Can't believe the school is still use whistles. But um, <laughs> that's a different subject altogether. So it's really, I guess, this would be a similar kind of thing to maybe my Jason, uh, the hypno chats that I was doing weekly. But I don't want it to be called that, so I'm just going to, guess, call it Change Your Life With Hypnosis. Which is pretty much what I've been trying to do for with all my videos. To give people the opportunity to make changes in your life. However small, because you know the small changes are what leads to the big changes. Uh, big changes are just a, quite often just an accumulation of smaller changes causing a domino effect, you know. So, a bit like a clock or a little watch or something, you know. All you got to do is just make one small movement correction and the whole thing works fine again. And you can move on. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm going with this. Um, I was going to take three months off without doing anything, any more videos for three months. But a day, in, <laughs> a day into that, and um, I'm missing it. And um, I'm getting so much feedback over the last day of people saying how much I've helped them and sort of thanking me that I kind of... I don't feel obliged, but I do feel... A certain responsibility, you know. I created this. I create not the hip, didn't create hypnosis, but I created um, the service, the free hypnosis service that I provide. And even though the videos are still going to be available, on some level, I felt like I was retracting uh, by not producing anything new. And I guess part of the uniqueness of what I do is. Uh, unlike a lot of other people that might just make one video, 
maybe a month or every few months and you know and they can be really popular those videos uh, I quite like the idea of producing new things so people can listen to new versions and new ideas and stimulate you know there's a stimulation in that in uh, new things and looking at things looking at their own lives in a different way so this really is I think this might be what I'm going to be doing for a while um, maybe I could call you know heal your life with hypnosis um, that's quite quite a nice ring isn't it heal your life Cause so much of that is about healing you know not in a um, conventional not in a curing way like disease curing a disease or anything like that but healing in a not even in a um, not in an alternative uh, way either like Reiki or things like that you don't have to believe in that stuff in order for your life to change you know and to heal so maybe the word heal is better than the word change because the changes will come anyway naturally by listening to these videos watching these videos you will change and that's naturally but also if you don't watch these videos you will also change because that's just the fact of life we all change I guess by taking control of your own life by making decisions to make the changes that you decide to make leads you in a different direction to maybe the way you would go if you just allowed the natural changes to occur in their own way because then you may be kind of guided by other people by their changes and their decisions and maybe what they want you to do instead of what you want to do with your own life making your own decisions so these videos that I make aren't about telling you what to do they're not about even guiding you really to anything it's all a case of you making your own choice and I'll say some things that you may agree with, some things you may not agree with. Um, I won't say what I used to say when I was younger. I think I, I used to say, uh, just because you don't agree with me doesn't mean I'm not right. But I'm not going to say that here because it's not about being right for me. Um, and if it's about being right for you, then that's something that you could perhaps benefit with looking at. Because there's an old saying, and I love this saying, it's one of my favourite sayings ever. You've got two choices in life. You can be right, or you can be happy. You can't be both. So as long as you need to be right, then you're never going to be happy. So I, I love that saying. It's, uh, I don't even know where it comes from. Someone sent it to me on a card once, uh, a couple of years back. And it's just, well, remember it forever. It's just such an amazing sentence. Um, great idea and it's true and it is true so it's not my truth it's not even your truth it just is truth some things just are true um, and I like that when it's not about opinions because you know a lot of things I say is going to be just my opinion other things are going to be fact but then it might just be my fact your facts might be different. So it's an interesting one, really. Um, but really, the main thing when you listen to these sessions, or any of my videos or hypnosis audio sessions, is just to open your mind because it's worth remembering that I never ever put anything in these videos or audios that are going to hurt anybody. You know, I'm not trying to push across my ideas and my views. I'm not trying to push across religious ideas or um, political ideas or anything like that, you know. It's all about having an open mind and about progression and about moving forward 
with your life in a healthy way so that you really can benefit from just taking some time out to listen to me sitting in my chair because this is probably where I'm going to be doing most of the videos because it's comfy and I'll just be looking like I'm falling asleep and you wouldn't believe how many people say to me why well, you look like you're going to fall asleep when you do your sessions why do you look why do you look like you're going to fall asleep it's easy if I'm doing an hour and a half session on insomnia I'm, t I'm talking about being tired and falling asleep and each part of the body feeling more relaxed I feel it I'm doing it at the same time as I'm doing it with you if I'm asking you to focus on your knees I'm focusing on my knees if I'm asking you to imagine, you know, green light entering the top of your head, filling your body with healing energy, that's what I'm doing at the same time. So I'm sharing it with you. I'm doing it at the same time as you. I'm not just reading off a piece of paper, you know. I have no script. I've never had any script. The only thing I've ever had is maybe an idea of what I want to talk about, you know. So when I sit for an hour and a half talking, or an hour, or ten minutes, whatever, I never know 100% what I'm going to say next. But I just have trust and faith in my own ability for it to come out for the, the appropriate things to come up. And because I've been doing this for so long, that I kind of get used to doing it. I've been doing it daily for quite a while as well. So sitting in front of a camera and just talking is natural for me now. I'm not nervous. I'm not... I, I could probably do this in front of an audience as well, maybe. Providing they were an audience for me. If it was a bunch of complete strangers that didn't know who I was and they'd come to see a... Um, ventriloquist act or something then now uh, maybe I wouldn't be so up for it but see this is a progression for me as well to maybe move forward healing with hypnosis change your life with hypnosis I'm not sure what title to give it Change your life with healing hypnosis. Ah, that could be the title. Change your life with healing hypnosis. And even though sometimes I will just sit and talk, I might just talk about myself, I might just, you know, there's still going to be a message in there, there's still going to be something in there for you to take with you to benefit because ultimately that's why I'm doing this it's all about moving you forward and at the same time I'm moving myself forward because when I'm saying to you that you do have choices about what you do in your life when I say that to you and I say it with conviction and I really mean it I'm looking at myself in the camera the camera's there, I'm seeing myself. So in a sense, I'm saying it to myself. Yeah. And it means more in that way because it's real. And then it affects me. And then it changes me. Which in turn allows me to maybe be better at what I do. Maybe be more convincing, maybe me be more congruent with the words that I say. Because maybe I'm going to live those words in a way that comes across to you. Which then allows you to be more congruent with your own path forward. To really be in touch with how you feel. And to really get to know yourself more deeply. Because that's all this is all about. 
really this whole thing that I do here, the videos, the audios, it's just about helping other people. You can call it altruistic if you like. Um, yeah, I don't mind you calling it that, it's quite a nice word. Um, ultimately, it's just something that I enjoy doing. And I could just as easily be collecting coins or being a, um, a bird spotter or something like that or being interested in astronomy. I could just as easily have the same passion and interest um, and enthusiasm for doing that. Um, I just happen to have it for this, which the, means I'm helping people, which is nice. Um, if I was looking at birds all day, for me <laughs> binoculars or whatever, I guess I possibly wouldn't be helping other people. And that would be a shame. For me, that would be a shame. Although I do like birds. I saw a tiny little bird the other day. And the bird was, there was two pigeons. It was a tree. It wasn't a big tree, but there was two pigeons. And then there's a little tiny little bird just landed. And its legs were just like so thin. Like how on earth does the legs hold the body? Because the body in comparison was like massive compared to the legs. And just for a second, just watching that little bird. And then it just flew off. Which gets me in touch with nature a bit, I think. It just, I quite like, I do like little birds. But, I just reminded myself that I like them. So I'm quite into, I quite like nature in that way. Um, but I am more of a towny, towny person. Yeah, I like nature, but I also like central heating. So, you know, kind of. So, went off a little bit in a different direction there. That's fine, it happens. <laughs> so really these sessions are just a natural conversational way for you to allow yourself just let to let go just to relax and some of it will just be really boring you know sometimes you just get bored you'll drift off and and then you kind of come back and you maybe I'll still be talking or maybe the video's finished or the audio's finished and you might think oh what was he talking about and you have a feeling a feeling of well-being and you might not even connect the fact that you feel happier and feel more uplifted after listening to me than you did before. You may not connect the fact with the fact that you've been watching my video or listening to my audio. And that's okay. Because I'm used to that. I'm used to those situations. You know, for example, my nan, she's got a, a shoulder and back problem. Um, like she gets a lot of pain and I've helped her with the pain to relieve the pain and reduce it so I'll talk to her for half an hour and at the end of it she'll say oh my pain oh the, the shoulder and she's moving it really which she couldn't normally do so oh it's not hurting anymore it's just you know and the next thing she says oh it must be because the sun's been shining on it not the, not the fact that I've just been sitting there for half an hour talking to her while she's got her eyes closed um, specifically to help reduce the pain so it's um, it's quite funny how that can happen, and this I do the same as well. You know, I don't always. Achieve, it's it's easy to just forget sometimes, maybe the reasons why things are the way they are. I guess if we did we'd just continuously connect those things, then I guess it would make a big difference to our lives. Perhaps we'd do a lot less of. Uh, the more harmful things than that we do, you know, to ourselves, I mean, maybe, you know, diet-wise or who knows what else. I'm not even going to guess. I could tell you about myself, but I'm not going to. <laughs> we all need secrets. So, 
these sessions really are an opportunity for you to enjoy having a continuous and a just some peace you know just a place where you can go where you can just let go for an hour not having to do anything not having to be anything or anyone you can just take the mask off put it on the floor lay down on a bed or sit in a comfortable chair and you know sort of take the costume off for the day allow yourself just to be yourself and you know what the more time you spend just being yourself the more time you will spend just being yourself. So it is a roll on effect, a domino effect, whatever other analogies you can come up with. And I might start thinking of some new analogies because the domino effect is quite an old one, isn't it? Some people might not even know what a domino is. They might think, what, a pizza effect? We're kind of, no, we're not talking about Domino's pizzas, we're talking about those little things that you that fall over. But they're not built for that, are they? It's actually a game, and I can't remember how the game is. Now, half of it is like they've got dots, haven't they? And you put the dots together or something. It's been a while since I played that. So I'm wondering how you're feeling about the idea of me doing a regular session of Change Your Life with Healing Hypnosis. A long session, maybe an hour, each one. Giving you an opportunity just let, to let go, just let go. And as well as doing these, what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask for some interaction. I'm going to ask you, the viewers, the, the, pe you know, the people that watch these videos, I'm going to ask you to contact me um, and tell me what you'd like me to talk about. Tell me what changes you'd like to make. And I can incorporate those changes into the videos that I do. You don't have to contact me directly, just put put it in the, the video, just put it as a comment, what you'd like next, what you'd like me to maybe focus on. I mean, I can talk, I suppose I can't really be specific all the time, you know. For example, if I, if I just focused on stop smoking, then a lot of people wouldn't want to watch it because they perhaps don't smoke, and it'd be of no use to them. But I could talk about breaking habits and addictions or you know things like that so I could incorporate it in that way the same way losing weight if I did a session just on losing weight which I have um, that's only going to really appeal to those people that want to lose weight and not everybody watching these videos um, are going to be as portly and round as me some people are going to be slim and happy with or just happy with how what the weight they are so they possibly wouldn't want to watch it so I'm gonna I need to I could cover making changes you know uh, having a different self view having a more positive self view about yourself about your physicality about how you look you know um, so I couldn't do a session on like increasing breast size for example um, and you know hypnosis can be used for that I've never done it myself but so that wouldn't obviously appeal to men I guess wouldn't appeal to a lot of women either as well so I could do a session on instead of like being happy with the way your body is but that wouldn't be the same as obviously a hypnotic enhancement 
So, give me some ideas what you'd like me to talk about. Maybe, I don't know, what would be good for you, what you would like to hear. What you would like me to focus on that will benefit you in a way that you'll be pleased with, that you'll really appreciate. And also maybe you could think of ideas of some subjects that maybe you think other people would like. How they would like to change their lives. And by listening to these videos it is really an accumulative effect. Some of it is so subtle that you won't even be aware of how or why you feel different. And it's kind of magical, I quite like that. And some of it's not even in my you know, brain about why you will get the effect you get because it's about your brain, it's about your mind, it's about your body, it's about your life. So when I say, you know, open your mind up and allow my words to go into your ears and to go directly to that part of your mind that is open to the idea of listening to me regularly and really benefiting from just listening to my words and allowing them to just absorb into every part of your body and mind. Allowing you to see the world in a different way. In a way that allows you to have options allows you to really step back and view things differently so that you can make decisions based on reality based on having all the facts available to you to really make the best decision possible for your benefit and those that you care about so you can enjoy a happier and brighter future and that can be pretty amazing when you think about how nice that would be just to allow somebody like myself into your life and into your mind for an hour so that you can just let go and any stress or strains or worries that you've experienced during the day can just melt away as each part of your body becomes more and more relaxed in a way that may surprise you just how easy it really is for you just to let go to just relax each and every part of your body naturally and the funny thing is when you actually focus on one part of your body it naturally relaxes naturally and easily it feels more comfortable and you can actually feel the muscles just separating and loosening like a crumbling biscuit and the muscles just feel so relaxed like melting butter and you know that with every breath that you take you can feel even more comfortable and relaxed in a way that allows you to really feel more available to your unconscious mind
feel open to positive suggestions of relaxation and calmness feeling loose and at ease from the top of your head all the way down to your toes including your shoulders and your hands your knees and your feet your buttocks and your back your chest and your stomach you know that you really can let go in such a deep and natural way that you really do enjoy being yourself without the mask without the costume without the pretense of being somebody else that's really not true to you And you can really relax into knowing who you are, into discovering who you are and what you need to have a happy, healthy and healing life where you can wake up every day feeling refreshed and ready to enjoy the day ahead knowing that you really do make a difference to this world and those people around you can benefit deeply by just being in contact with you and that's pretty amazing, isn't it? I wonder how it feels. And what can you do to really appreciate this amazing opportunity that you have right now and all the amazing things that you've done in your life and all the people that you've helped along the way to allow you to really feel in touch with your own amazing ability to appreciate yourself to really be in touch with who you are yourself inside your heart the person who you know deeply because let's face it you're with yourself 24 hours a day since the day you were born nobody on the planet knows you as well as you know yourself you know who you really are you know how kind you can be you know how many people that you've helped along the way so I wonder what that can be like for you when you really get in touch with the fact that you deserve to be happy that you deserve to feel wonderful And isn't that an opportunity? 
an amazing opportunity for you to really get in touch with yourself now and every day in the future if you choose you can really spend some time with you by laying down maybe sitting down You can do this on your own or you could do this whilst listening to my voice. Allow me to guide you gently. In a direction that you choose to allow my words to influence you in a positive way. Remembering that you are in control of what you do and you are in control of how you feel. And this really is something that's a little bit different from how I guess we're brought up to believe. And society doesn't really go along with this either. But you really do have control about how you feel. And when you realise that another person doesn't really have the power to make you feel any way at all. The only power they have is the power that you allow them to have. Because you're the one that's in control. You are the one that decides how you are going to respond not react but respond to other people can do their own thing because you're not responsible for them or their actions Because they also have free will, the same that you have. Free will and choice to do and say and feel however you choose to decide to accept that this is true. And you really can allow yourself to just let go. Let go of the ideas from the past that were of no use to you and allow yourself to be open to new ideas, new ideas of positivity and let's face it ideas that can be useful to you and that's ultimately all this is about. It's for you to decide what's useful for you. You're the one that can decide if the words that you hear and absorb into your unconscious mind is useful for you now. And you can just test those ideas and see whether or not they work for you in a way that changes your life in a healing way because you ultimately can choose what you do and how you think and this can be news for you but it's also fact so I wonder what you're going to do next Are you going to benefit from now on? We think about the options and the possibilities of really making a choice and a change to move forward. How will that be for you? How 
how would that experience feel for you right now when you think about it in a way that can surprise and delight you just how easily you really can enjoy being in touch with yourself and no longer worrying or caring about the past issues that used to bother you in the past because it's called past for a reason it's gone forever and really all you have is now and although the future hasn't happened yet so that's another thing that you really can't worry about there's also the fact that you can plan the future in a way that means that although you're in the part you're in the, f the present now the future will come here and you can plan that which gives you the power and the control and options about what you do next and that's a nice place to be isn't it isn't that an amazing place to be when you realize that you really do have options to choose your own path forward I think that's quite amazing really it's quite an amazing opportunity for all of us to embrace being true to yourself being and cultivating the positive sides of you and allowing that to grow moving you forward into the future in a way that can nourish and improve your life and the life of those you care about in ways that you may never actually realize just how much you've helped other people but you will know that you have because you'll be in tune and in touch with how you feel and there's the roll on effect of helping others helps you allowing you to really embrace being true to yourself and spending time with your own feelings and allowing you to really appreciate all the positive aspects of your own personality And when you realize that you can experience feeling positive about yourself every day, this then opens up possibilities of further growth in the future, which you decide to experience and build in a way that you choose your own future and that really does give you the power over your own life in such a positive way you really can enjoy being yourself and how 
amazing is that? When you think about it. When you have the opportunity to really be you. To really just be true to yourself. And accept who you are. Really. Able to enjoy your own company. And to respect yourself. Because you deserve your own respect. Now and in the future. You can look back on this day and with nostalgia and with positive recollections of the moment that changes occurred, allowing you to move forward and let go in a positive way that can change your life for the better easily and naturally you can move forward one step at a time one step of positivity at a time of change as you contribute to your own personal development continues to move in a positive way towards the future that you decide to experience feeling so positive and calm and relaxed and this may surprise you at just how easy you find it to just let go. Let go of being who you thought you needed to be. Allowing you to just get in touch with who you really are right now. Allowing yourself to be in touch with the reality and the honesty that you possess deep inside. And you can use those feelings to just experience who you are. That's something quite amazing, really, for you. To enjoy being yourself in a way that nobody else can change ever how you are and how you live your life in a way that really fits in with your own self perception positivity and kindness and imagine how wonderful that will be when you are in touch with that kindness that fills your body every day leading you to experience happiness and joy beyond your imagination from now and onwards you can really allow yourself 
to appreciate your own goodness. The inherent goodness that's inside you. The kindness and the compassion that you feel for others. You can also direct at yourself. Allowing you to feel compassionate towards your own life and towards your own body and mind. Allowing your mind and body and life to heal. Deeply. And naturally. In a way that can delight you. And cause you to feel deep joy in your heart that fills your body with feelings of pleasure. And now and in the future you can continue to experience these feelings that you have in your mind and in your body and you can enjoy them and you can remember to take time out each day to allow your body and mind to rejuvenate to recuperate and to fill with love and happiness and this brings us to the end of the session and you can enjoy the rest of the day feeling wonderful